What is up guys? Nighthawk here. I'm a little under the weather, but nevertheless, continuing videos. As I said last week, I would have continued videos, but again, another fucking... I, I, I don't know why this keeps happening. Like, I work a bunch, don't have time to upload, then I finally do have time, and then I get sick, and then... It's a sinus infection, but either way, I, I count that as sick. But anyway, I wanted to do a short video to show you a couple of the cool things I bought for myself for Christmas. I got a bunch of amazing things for myself, and they're all sitting on the table right here. I just thought, I wanted, I felt like I should do a quick one of these videos just to kind of show you and tell you an update on what's been going on lately. So yeah, as, as I say again, another update. There'll probably be one tomorrow on Wednesday or today as you'll probably be viewing it. So yeah, all right, so here we go. So all of you know, I got a headset, I got a external hard drive, all wonderful things, but I wanted to show you the couple cool things I actually got on the marketplace and on eBay. So basically here, I had to get a new controller. I haven't opened it yet, mainly due to the fact, I, I, I don't know, I just haven't yet. I, just, I haven't played a lot of PS4 lately. So here you go. I got the Midnight Blue uh, controller. I thought about getting uh, Berry Blue or a different color, but I thought that this one was definitely, it, it just like, to my personality, I think that's like a great color. And I, I just love the color. It's, I love that dark blue. But yeah, this will be my new streaming controller for you guys who are wondering so yeah excited about that yeah so another thing i got myself this one's from marketplace and guys i could not believe how much i got this for i got this for 35 dollars on the spot and um one of the best things i've gotten ever it's Star Fox in the box i got this for 35 dollars Technically, the only thing it's missing is the insert, which kind of sucks, but uh, you can find those anywhere. It comes with the rumble pack. comes with everything, guys. It's it's great. Here it is. As you can see, this looks awesome. You can hear stuff rumbling around in there, but it's like, yeah, this was cool. This is going up on the mantle next to a Duke Nukem Zero Hour and 40 Winks, which I have not played yet. Um, I'm trying to save that until I can actually, like, play play it, you know? Like... You know, like for you guys, and I'll probably do a Let's Play on that, and it'll, Nintendo 64 will probably be the only Let's Plays I'll do, because, you know, they're simple, they're easy and whatnot. So, another thing I got from the same guy is a Nintendo 64 controller in the box. It's been opened, but the guy said it's barely been used. I actually got to hold it, I looked at it. It's so smooth. It's like no one's ever touched it. This just kind of felt like an extra thing maybe their family had around, and that's what he told me. It's like one of those extra things, like we didn't need it, so it sat around for a long time. We took it out, maybe played with it once, put it in. It's barely used. It's awesome. I love that. That's going up on the mantle, too. I, I call it a mantle, even though it's a bookshelf. Um, the other thing I got myself this Christmas, it's hiding under paper here. This was actually the first thing I got myself. I finally got the complete edition of Watchmen for PS3 in the case. It's beautiful. Um, I have, as you can see here, it's probably the biggest case for a PS3 game I've seen that's actually in my collection. So um, that's cool. I really did enjoy finding this. Um, I actually sniped this from somebody on eBay and I wasn't even mad or wasn't even sorry because I, I have hunted for this for a long time I got myself Mario Party 2 but it's over there right now so I haven't I'm not gonna go get that um two of the other things I got myself these are a couple of the last things I got myself I got myself one of the blockbuster exclusive games for Nintendo 64 which is Razor Freestyle Scooter I'm actually really happy with how this turned out it's even got the old blockbuster sticker I'm really happy with how this turned out because I know that usually, and I know this for when I get um, the Sculptor's Cut eventually, or uh, Stunt Racer 64, which is, I believe, another, block, bleh, another blockbuster exclusive, is that I was hoping that it'd be in, like, malleable condition. And I was hoping that it would be, I, ho I was hoping, like, I wouldn't have to go around and find a label for it or, like, clean it up. 
I mean, I'll probably have to clean it up a little bit, but I already knew, you know, I mean, these games are not going to look the best because Razor Freestyle Scooter was one of those games that sat out on a shelf. It's really uncommon. I got it for $16, and that's really, really, really good. Um, I was I saw another one that was like $20, and the label was like ripped off, but I didn't know what was going to happen. There's a little tear in the label right there, but it's not like all the way through. Uh, I really wanted this game basically due to the fact that I could say that I own Razor Freestyle Scooter because it's such an uncommon game and to have it look as good as it does it's it's really great if you guys are wondering if you do want to buy this game a complete edition of this game like on ebay is probably like i want to say 200 bucks i saw it for and it looks pristine but like i said if you want it pretty penny then that's what how much it's going to cost you because this game i not i believe there's probably less than probably 50 of them that are still complete and there's probably less than a hundred of them that actually look nice, you know, and uh, yeah. The other one I got myself, and I'm really happy that this collection's finished. This one's going to take some big cleaning up, and we're going to do a vi another cleaning video for um, Nintendo 64. But um, yeah, I got Star Wars Episode One Racer. I used to play this a lot as a kid. As you can see, it's littered with GameStop stickers, and also on the back is written either seam house or sam house i don't know if some guy named sam house owned this game or it's maybe part of the sam household i don't know <laughs> i'm not going to go into that but the next video that i do after this is we're going to be cleaning up stickers and that'll be part three of cleaning nintendo 64 games so yeah all right guys if you've enjoyed this video be sure to drop a like, be sure to smash that subscribe button. Also, guys, tell me what you got for Christmas. What's that one amazing thing that you got for Christmas? What, whether it was your parents got it for you, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, whoever got it for you. Or did you buy something for yourself that was better than anything? It was just amazing. Guys, let me know in the comments down below. And subscribe if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more. I'm recording a lot today through all this sinus infection. I'm sorry if they're snorting throughout the videos. It's just, I'm not a pig. It's just the way it is. All right, guys. I'll see you next time with a brand new video. Goodbye, guys.